What's going on guys? You had a wedding photography questions and I have your answers. In this week's video, we're going over a question I actually received from a wedding couple I booked in about a day or two ago, Ariel and Ian. And Ariel's question was, what if we get rained out? What if the weather isn't participating on our wedding day? What happens then? Um, you know, are we out of luck and are we kind of just gonna be sitting around not taking photographs? And the answer to that is of course not. Uh, we always have a plan B in place. We always have to have a location in mind of where to go in case of rain. Now, if it's just a light drizzle or anything like that, an umbrella might make for a nice prop uh, and actually uh, make for you know a beautiful, interesting photograph. Strategically placing our own lights can actually make for some very beautiful creative effect in rainy weather. Um, but if you're not for standing in the rain, even under an umbrella, you know, one of the things I want you to consider is not only hair and makeup, but your dress is gonna get really heavy and uncomfortable. It's gonna come, kind of ruin your experience if it gets too wet. Um, so I want you to kind of keep that in mind. Your comfort and um, you know your experience is the most important thing on your wedding day. So even if that means sacrificing a couple photographs out in the rain, I want you to stay comfortable. Um, but of course, the venue is going to be our best bet as far as indoor photography goes. If you're having a New York City uh, Manhattan wedding where um, sometimes those options are a little bit more limited. If your portrait session was scheduled to be somewhere outdoors like Central Park, uh, we might have to kind of think quick on our feet, either go into like a sh uh, shelter location, for example, in the park, or maybe go to somewhere like the Oculus or Grand Central. If you have a bigger venue somewhere on Long Island or New Jersey, uh, those venues typically have more than enough space indoors. You know, they're beautifully lit up. You have uh, either rooms designated for that or just a hallway outside in, um, kind of like in the lobby area or wherever, uh, maybe a nice fire place over on the side that works really well. So um, all of these things that we kind of explore in the venue before the wedding so we're prepared in case anything like that happens. Now going through some of the reviews of rainy weddings that I've uh, photographed in the past you will see brides actually commenting on the fact that it was a pretty dreary and gloomy day that you know wasn't too interesting but the photographs actually came out beautiful and some of the benefits of actually having poor weather is if your session is in a location like for example Central Park or some other touristy area that's typically pretty crowded your experience might be that it actually completely clears out the park and the place is almost all to ourselves which is perfect for photographs because you don't have people you know distractions in the background or anything like that the way that we light the photos also has a big impact on that. Um, so other than getting wet, you know, we're not really concerned from a lighting perspective or anything like that because we're able to uh, bring out our own equ equipment and control that ourselves. Of course, uh, another issue or uh, another question might be is, is your equipment able to handle that? And the answer is, of course, absolutely. Um, we use the highest shelf available equipment for professional wedding photography. So uh, no matter what the weather is, we are not afraid to bring it all out. Um, we're not made of sugar, so we're not gonna melt. We're not concerned about getting wet either. Uh, like I said before, my biggest concern is about you being comfortable and not getting your dress all wet and heavy um, because that's just simply not fun. We do what we can. We use sheltered location, indoor locations, um, or we kind of just go with the flow and just you know open up an umbrella and get some nice creative, unique looking shots that way. At the end of the day, this is your special wedding day. It's gonna be unique in its own way. And even if we get a little bit of a drizzle, then you know, that's just part of your wedding day story. And it doesn't make it any less special. It's just gonna make it more memorable, if anything. I hope this video helped. I hope it kind of gave you a little bit of a peace of mind. If you have any other of your own questions, um, leave them down in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, likewise, if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, just drop me a direct message or a private message on there. I'd be happy to make another video about your question and help you out that way. All right, make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. And I hope to see you here back next week. Take care, bye-bye.